now on week six of virtual pre-K. I cannot believe it. I miss your faces. I wish you were in this class right now. And this is the beginning of a new week. Week six of virtual pre-K. Okay, now if we remember, our theme from last week carries over for this week. Before we get started on circle time, I wanna show you two projects that we've got coming up for this week. Our first project is a really beautiful rainbow fish. Have any of you made your rainbow fish? I colored mine with markers, but you can paint yours, you can use markers, you can use crayons, anything you want. And when it's dry, you get to put this sparkly fin on it and we're gonna read a special book about a rainbow fish with some sparkly scales. And our last project that I wanted to show you is very silly. If you know what this is, it is an octopus. And an octopus has how many legs? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Your fingers get to be legs. So this is your little silly octopus finger puppet. If you guys made this and made your little finger puppet, I would love to see a picture because every time I look at this, it makes me laugh. And I want to laugh when I look at yours too, okay? So send me your pictures of your silly octopus. So these are our projects for this week. All right, class, we know what comes after that. Stand up so that we can say our Pledge of Allegiance. It's important that we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance because that's how we show respect for our flag for our country. Put your hand on your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now we do our Oklahoma salute. I salute the flag of the state of Oklahoma. Its symbols of peace unite all people. Class, I just thought of something. Our friend Landry is gonna be moving to Texas this summer. Landry, we want to know what the Texas flag salute is. See if you can remember to show us. We would love to see it, and then I could show it at our next circle time. Thank you. Okay, class. So, I wore this shirt today because it made me think of the amazing ocean, and I also really love the color blue, and the ocean is blue. Now, we're going to talk about some other animals that live in the ocean. We talked last week about puffer fish, sea turtles, parrotfish, but we're going to talk about a really fun animal that's really playful, and it's a mammal that lives in the ocean. Okay, guys, this is, does anybody know? It's a dolphin, and this says, if you were a dolphin. I love dolphins, and I've actually seen real dolphins swimming in the ocean. Have you guys ever seen dolphins in the ocean? Or maybe your moms or dads have seen dolphins in the ocean. If you were a dolphin, you would play with bubbles. Look, this dolphin is actually blowing bubbles. If you were a dolphin, you would breathe through a hole on the top of your head. So you see right here is the dolphin's blow hole. It's right on top and that's how he can breathe. If you were a dolphin, you would live in a group called a pod. We live in family groups and a dolphin's family is called a pod. If you were a dolphin, you would leap high into the air. Okay guys, everybody stand up and let's leap as high as we can like we're dolphins. You ready? One, two, three. Ugh, I'm a dolphin. Okay, so this down here says dolphins cooperate. When you cooperate, you work together. Dolphins cooperate. They work together to round up fish and catch them. Now we can do a dolphin cheer. It goes like this. Two, four, six, eight. We are dolphins, we cooperate. You guys can learn that and you can send me a video of it. Would that be so fun? Okay, now before we're done for the day, I wanna talk to you about our board. We have something new written on our board from last week. Our season is spring, 
Our theme is ocean, and we have a new topic. Last week we were talking about nouns, which is a person, a place, or a thing. Your mom is a noun, if you have a sister, sister is a noun, chicken nuggets are a noun. Nouns are person, place, or thing, but today we're talking about verbs. Everybody say that with me. Verbs. One more time. Verbs. Very good. Okay, so what is a verb? A verb is a word that explains something that you do. Okay, so I'm going to explain that to you a little bit more. Class, what am I doing right now? I am running. Running is a verb. Okay, now watch my legs. Now what am I doing? I'm kicking. Kicking is a verb. Let's see. Oh, when we were dolphins, we were jumping. Jumping is a verb. Here's your project. I want everybody to think about something that you do outside that's a verb. Try to think of something different than running, kicking, or jumping. Think of something brand new that's a verb. Okay, class, let's do our Bible verse before we say goodbye today. Think about all that you can praise God for and be glad about it. One more time. Think about all that we can praise God for and be glad about it. I'm glad and I say thank you, God, every day for all the things he gives to me. Thanks, guys. I love you.